welcome to RTR TV. Uh, I've come out for a little, I'm um, going to cook up a little bacon and bacon bagel with brown sauce um, on my uh, my little roundabout here. Uh, when I came in here, there was a definite smell of putrefaction, and uh, I found the ideal spot to set my tarp up because it. It's looking very overcast. It did rain a bit earlier. I was going to put a camo net up, but I went with a tarp instead. The 3x3 DD, but um, yeah, so I was where I was about to set up. There's a dead fox there, isn't there? It's a perfect spot. But I've set up here anyway. Uh, did it on a time lapse, so I'm going to put me, put me uh, tarp that I'll sit on underneath and uh, cook up this bacon bagel with brown sauce. Oh, I haven't been here for a little while. It's, uh, it's definitely got lusher in that time. So let's get set up and have a cook. It's really gloomy in here. Uh, I mean, I know the canopy's there now, but um, yeah, it's really uh, come over overcast. Sorry if you can hear um, cars going by again. The road's not too far away. And I am on a roundabout. Tell you, every now and then I'll get a smell of that dead fox wafting over. Stinks. Putrefaction. Hopefully the smell of um, my bacon cooking will mask it a little bit. I thought I was far enough away not to smell it, but yeah, not pleasant. So I've got the kettle on here. Got a nice log there to rest my feet against and the edge of the road is over there on this roundabout hmm under the 3x3 three three DD what well, I did I tied it off to a branch over there a branch over there uh, that side um, on this end there's a bowling so I just pulled it through the bowling loose end through the tabby bit and uh, up there I did a trucker's hitch which is uh, did that on both sides two of my favourite knots bowling and the trucker's hitch I connected it up there with a the trucker's hitch let me swing you around this away and up there that's an event hitch oh kettle's boiling I'm beginning to think I should have set up somewhere else because when I was standing up I couldn't smell that but as soon as I got down here it's quite overpowering it's too late now though I'm going to have to go with it <sighs> maybe a quick sip of coffee might help oh. yeah. well, I'm going to get the bacon on now I've got a lovely um, sesame topped bagel, which is going to be very nice. So let's get the frying pan going. Ugh. Clumsy. Three bits of bacon. Let's go in one bagel. There we go. What I've also bought to put in it, some lovely HP sauce. Can't go wrong with a bit of HP. Well, I was right. That has helped the old, uh, with the smell of the, with the uh, festering corpse, fox corpse over there. Oh, nasty. Probably got hit by a car by this roundabout and managed to stagger in a little bit further before it dropped down. Not too long ago by the looks of it as well, but it is starting to stink bad.
That went so long. Well, I think it's nearly ready. I didn't bring a plate with me again. Let's turn this over. Give it one more go on the other side. I like it nice and crispy. There we go. Get my bangle out ready. Brown sauce in this. Turn the bacon off. I think that's done enough. Lovely. Do love a bit of brown sauce with bagels and bacon. There we go. Do. Get some bacon on there. There we go. Bacon smells good, but the festering corpse does not. There we go. Look at that. Bacon bagel in a sesame bun sesame topped with HP. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Needed that. So this is the um, half term at the moment. And obviously this weekend we've got the uh, Platinum Jubilee celebrations going on. Um, and the Overlord, the Overlord show. If you don't know what the Overlord show is, a military vehicle show and military show. Um, and I did a video there last year and I'll put the thing up there. Um, we're going on Friday because they decided to run it. Normally they run it over the bank last the bank holiday week in May. The last am I, am I wording that right? <laughs> but anyway, the bank holiday Monday in May. But this year they're running it um, over the Platinum Jubilee weekend. So me and Mrs. Rob the Rover are going to go up there on the Friday to have a look around. She didn't go last year because she was working, but. She's got this Friday off, so. It's always a good thing to go to. We always enjoy it. And by the actual power cord I used to tie this up with, I bought at Overlord a few years ago. They sell all, all sorts of bushcrafty things as well, so. Looking forward to it. Let's see what I can buy. That was lovely. Bird song's lovely, isn't it? Punctuated with the odd sound of a car. As I said, I'm on a roundabout. <sighs> oh. 
haven't used this for ages. I think the last time I actually used it was here. The tarp and the trangia. Or was it the trangia and the tarp? I'll put a thing up there so you can go to it and have a look. Pretty sure that was the last time I used this. I'll take you around so you show you what I did. So yeah, on this end here, I used a trucker's hitch and that's a bowling going through there. And you go across to this one, another bowling. Very good knot to another trucker's hitch there. Can you see it? Is it focusing? Yeah, there. So <clears throat> let's have a little walk around it. Go around the back. Around the back. See what I can find. Hopefully not another dead animal. Because the one that is there stinks. So there it is. Obviously going through this end. That's the event hitch. And I'll put a uh, stick through there to stop it going through and this side I've got a prussic knot prussic knot there going through there I'll put an old um, tent peg fed it through fed it through the uh, loops another prussic knot with the tent peg through it and a trucker's hitch and when I take this down I'll show you how easy they are to pull those knots out and in the down there I only put two pegs in one at each end that's all it needed really love my three three by three DD don't use it often enough really yeah look how it's really overgrown love it absolutely love it Swing around here. And the DD tarp is through there. Pretty good camo, I reckon. Works pretty good through foliage. Look at that. That's really good. Right. Time to pack up, I think. Tarp looks pretty good from this side. I think I set up right on an animal trail here. Oh well. See when I do a uh, trucker's hitch, I put it through there, through the loop, twice. So that way, it stays tight, look, I haven't wrapped it around or anything, but if I just pull it that way, that's it, it's released. And obviously the loop, I can't do that with a pull that out with a camera in my hand, but that's a quick release as well. So, yeah. Very easy, very good knot. The old trucker's hitch, one well worth learning. The bowling, the trucker's hitch, and the event hitch. Brilliant knots. And of course, because it's a bowling, just need to uh, pull that through. I do actually have bowlings at both ends of these, but uh, there you go, out, and there's that trucker's hitch, not gone, and this one, take a bit of wood out, simple as that, event hitch, or it was, <laughs> and of course the trucker's hitch, Easy peasy. Just 
putting the tarp away now. There you go, look, stuff back in. And for those who don't know, you always get a nice little bag of pegs with a DD tarp when you buy it. I've never had to use these, because I always bring cordage with me. But I always keep them in this bag. And I always keep this tarp in the boot of my car. Because you never know. You never know. There you go. Right, so I was between that tree and this tree. Left no trace, just a bit of flattened ground where I was sitting. That has seen spring back to life. Cool. Most enjoyable bagel. With bacon and brown sauce. So, yeah, got everything. Make sure I've got my pen knife, my huntsman. Still got it. Don't want to lose that. So, time to head back to the car. <sighs> Dead fox is just over there. Stinks. But anyway, <laughs> enough of the putrefaction of the fox. Uh, thanks for coming out with me today um, on my little cook up in the on the roundabout my old roundabout and uh, if you like the video you know what to do hit the old thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet maybe think about subscribing that'd be brilliant thank you very much indeed and what I'll do is I'll see you next time when I'm roving about wherever it may be see you soon bye <laughs>